Hello and welcome back to Summer Sea, where I just uh, managed to get the second, um, what was this? I think, str strategic information from the Kumean Canal. And I think I'm done down here. And uh, I think the next step is back to London. See how much they pay, um, and then I guess it depends on where uh, the Admiralty is going to send me next. And depending on where that is, we'll either go there or north, because I just want to go north for no real reason, I guess. I just wanted to see what's up north. Um, <laughs> but first, I, I'd like to kind of upgrade my ship a bit. Uh, yeah, I guess it depends on how much that pays. Probably won't be enough. Well, I'm pretty good on fuel and um, supplies for now, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to tell how long those will last, really. Um, and if I don't upgrade my ship... I might want to repair my heart, though, for sure. It's not, it's not... I don't think it's critical yet, but... A little bit of bad luck, it might be not enough. 58. Um, did he see us? Or does he still see us? I guess is the question. He definitely did see us. I can't uh, exit combat yet, so it's probably still onto us. Well, whatever. We'll be able to talk anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, um, <laughs> I probably should have played a little bit more um, aside from this life here, but I haven't, so I don't really know anything about this game. Ah, an inspection by the Ministry of Public Decency. Some things are too illegal for the Cusp Service to admit the existence of. The Ministry are here looking for those. Uh, yeah, we don't have red honey. We don't have a gift for the Pirate King, or we could pay them off. Wow, 500 Echoes. No. <laughs> yeah, we, we only have this option here. Nothing to hide. You shrug and invite them to search your ship as thoroughly as they would like. They leave scuff marks on the newly scrubbed decks and take great pleasure in wrangling the rigging. Tangling the rigging. You find nothing more dangerous than a moldy ship's biscuit lost some suspicion, that's good, and we didn't have anything illegal on us, so that's also very good. Um, okay, let's collect... Um, let's collect our messages. Let's see. Um, free evening, a blind, blind bruiser, bruiser again, uh, something has changed, someone wants to sign on, okay. Good evening, Captain, and what a marvelous evening it is, if you don't mind my saying so, and given it is my impression you are an obliging sort, I imagine you will not mind at all. And since you are so very obliging, perhaps you wouldn't mind making a little detour via Mount Palmerston with a few articles of cargo if you happen to be in the area. The cheery man will of course cover your expenses for the trifling inconvenience. Um... Yeah, I mean we've started going down this path before, so let's let's keep 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 going um, until we have, find a reason to stop. I guess we'll smuggle some things. Why not? Um, if you would be so kind to deliver this little gift to our friends in Mount Palmerston, then they will see we get to hear about it. And when you come back, we'll cover your expenses. <laughs> bon voyage. That's very interesting spelling. Yeah, as my aunt who was French by birth. If not by inclination, he used to like to say, okay. Uh, okay, we're smuggling an uh, unstamped crate of brilliant souls. Somewhere northeast of London, okay. Can do that. Um, the Admiral, let's talk to the Admiral. Um, we have some strategic information. Oh, it's the same text as last time, and 150 echoes for that. See anything in particular he needs? Uh, yes, another strategic information from J. 
Ch Chelonate, far to the east. Okay, so I haven't been there. I don't rec recognize that name at all. Uh, do we have any other pod reports? Yes, the Cumian Canal. Five Echoes, not really worth it. That's it. Let's go back to London. Uh, we could carouse in the wolf stack docks. I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Why not? It's only 10 echoes, we can afford that. A marvelous night out, sea shanties, fine food, and one for the fire, and something more. Okay, what's the something more? Uh, it could be someone whose name you do not afterwards recall, or the likely last from last time. I don't think I came down to the docks just to see you. I've got business here, but alright, it did cross my mind that you might drop by. Uh, yeah, let's pursue this, this a little bit further. Few hours together, shared warm new memories. It's hard to say goodbye this time. Something has occurred. Okay. Good enough, I guess. Let's check the recruits. Tyler's mechanic. Don't really need that at this point. Uh, we don't the scorer. We could you no. Know, we don't have any for anything for him and. Uh, Eventually, we don't have anything for him either. Um, can rest. Mm, that's probably not worth it. Anything else we can do in London? No. So I guess that's it then, right? And let's. Hmm. I'm really not sure about these upgrades. I feel like I need more money though before I commit to something like that, just in case. I mean, what was the weapon upgrade I was looking at? This one? Oh no, this one was a forward weapon, I need a deck weapon, right? Yeah, I only have the deck slot. I don't have a forward slot. And, uh... Let's look at that. So our current ship is a Mernat, <laughs> Ligea class steamer. Ugh. This tramp steamer has served well, but for a long, long, long time. Um, okay, so what would, 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 would be an upgrade? This one probably. This looks like a downgrade for sure. This is what we have. Yeah, so the Lampet class cutter would be the next upgrade. Let's see. Okay, that has its slider, so it's probably probably uses less fuel, I would assume. But we have less quarters and hull capacity, tar, uh, iron bonus. That's not really a bonus because <laughs> it's minus ten. I guess it would be good for mirrors and whales. It has the same slots. It's not really great. And those are really expensive. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool, yeah. I don't know. Uh, so that's probably not gonna happen now. Um, so let's just buy some fuel while we're here. And I guess some supplies as well. And. Uh, did I have anything else um, that I needed to do? Find seven packages of Mirror Sword or Devil Bond dies. I haven't found any. Is there anything? Uh, something in Vanderbite. What did they need? Did they want something from me? I don't recall. <laughs> That's what precisely is the problem. They wanted something from me, but I, I don't know. I don't remember now. Um, Almost safe. Oh, what it is. Hmm. I guess. Can we speak to her? No. Didn't someone want to go north? No. It was in my last life, maybe. <laughs> um. <laughs> Either way, we'll, we'll, we'll. Okay, an unexpected letter. Who sent it and what does it say? Uh, 
your sweetheart, return to London as soon as you may. Your sweetheart says you are a father. Choose this option if you assert a child. Your sweetheart, a surprise for you on your next return to London. I have taken in a foundling. Choose this option if you're unlikely to be either father or mother. When I next return to London, I will bring an additional recruit, your child. Choose this option if you're giving birth to a child. Um, no, I'm probably not <laughs> going to birth a child, so it's either that I'm a father or it's a foundling. Uh, let's go with the first one. New life, go quickly. You have a child return to London to look after them and they may become scion, allowing you to take two legacies. Interesting, not sure what that means. But... Yeah, we can just go back right now. <laughs> Uh, you, your sweetheart and your child, what will your child call you? Nothing at all? If you don't want to raise a child or you can't afford to turn away, let your sweetheart raise the bread if they can. Father unlocked... Okay, we need an elegant townhouse or a seaside mansion to do that. You can't raise a child in the room above a pub, that makes sense. Well, people do, but your sweetheart expects better. Let's see, what will it cost to improve? Townhouse costs a thousand echoes. No, we can't afford that. What happens when I just if I just leave? <laughs> that sounds pretty bad, but does it like does it go away? Or if I just leave now and then come back maybe with more money later? I don't know. We'll try that. It's either way I can't I can't do anything now. Because I don't want to I don't have the money to upgrade uh, the place I stay at, so This way at least there's a, there's a chance that we might be able to do that. Um, raise a child. <laughs> okay, uh, what can I do? I can't really do a lot of things. I could go east, I guess. The map is pretty big still. Almost, yeah. Oh, basically only about half, half the distance towards the east there. I guess we'll just go exploring a bit to the northeast here. Oh, and I have to deliver those souls, I guess. Do I know where Mount Palmerston or whatever it was is? I don't think I've seen that before. But it did say northeast, so let's, let's try to do that and maybe, maybe swing by north. Um, I don't remember what it's, what it's called up there. Ah, what was that? Saw something. Nothing there, okay. I'll send out the sea bat to see if there's anything close by that we might want to check out. Shepherd Isles is a long way to the northeast. I've been there, right? I think so. Stone Isle. Does that have a port? No. Looks like it does, but it doesn't. It doesn't have a port here either. Hmm. Is there a port on this side? I don't remember if I stopped here. Probably did though. If I explored it. So yeah, let's let's try to deliver those source. Um, it's probably good to get rid of them, since yeah, they're not exactly legal, <laughs> and there might be another uh, inspection when we get back to London. So, it's a fog here. Big fan of that. To protect me, fire steam, pinnas. They're going after me. Might be. Let's just attack them, I don't know. Pirates after all, right? There we go. If you destroy the pirate steam pinnace, the ship is yours. What will we do with her? Loot and scuttle, scuttle her. She's a vile old vessel and is 
DCs are unsafe, they could, you can't move on. Lean pickings, uh, these spinners, these spinners don't sail far from their hidden harbor harbors, but here's something at the back of the hold. Uh, cache of curiosities, tap the bunk carefully. Uh, it's a cask of wine. In the flaring light, it's sea dark, but taste is the darkness of autumn. Mushroom wine, an acquired taste perhaps, but once you've acquired it, you'll go back to grapes. <laughs> and there's a little bubbles of goo grapes. <laughs> okay, so we have a cask of mushroom wine now, good enough. Not sure what that is used for, but we'll, we'll probably find a use for it. Uh, worst case, we'll sell it, I guess. And we didn't take any damage, uh, because I did forget to repair my heart back in London, so... Um, let's just keep going here for a little while. Not doing too bad on supplies and fuel. Oh, my Palmerston is some distance to the north. Okay, so we can deliver our souls there. It's definitely a good idea, I guess. Get rid of that illegal rate, and then worry about other things again. Permacent's reach. There's brimstone on the wind. Oh, that looks cool. Ambrose Point. So Mount Permacent is a sort of volcano. Brimstone, always brimstone. Go up to the crater. They say the road to hell is paved with good intentions. <laughs> I guess we'll stay at the at Mount Permacent for sunlight. Gil Green at the Chetty's Edge. Deliver your smart source, let's do that. A hooded figure with a lantern waits at the far end of the quay. A heard exchange. You give the hooded shape a sign of recognition, it hisses the reply you expected. You hand over the crate and receive a chitty marked with thief sign. You receive the promised remuneration in London. Very good. Got that done. Um Yeah, let's get a pot report. Chat with the pot fork about the Brimstone Convention. It was a revolution in hell and the aristocracy of devils fled here. Here they plot in exile. A shrug and a curse. They don't do us any harm. We stay up there and we stay down here. If hell's fighting itself, it's good for us. Or isn't it? Good enough pot report. Uh, do we want to explore the island? Dig among the ruins. Perhaps the villagers left the valuables behind. You could pick over the remains to see what you might find. You boor. <laughs> Sixty percent chance to find something. Um, do we want to do that? I'm not sure. Ah, we'll explore the island. Uh, tangles of thorn scrub climb the rocky slopes of the volcano. A vista. The sea opens out beneath a high cliff. A high place. The sea, like a river sheet of night green shade. The roof of the neath above, bellied with stalactites and bricked with four star. Look out across the water, what are you thinking of? I might be thinking of my sweetheart, uh, my future, my past as a street urchin, or all the wild black sea. I can have all these options. Hmm. The years before you came to sea, racing across rooftops, snatching pocket watches, tussling with rival gangs, the bleak days in the workhouse, and the terror of the constables. This is probably going to increase my veils. Um, you can think about my future. From up here your future looks glorious, if not exactly bright. Or my sweetheart. An ocean of darkness lies between you and your sweetheart, but you remember them still. Uh, I think I want to think about my future. I'm not sure that would... Like, uh, we've had some events with, with our sweetheart and... I don't really. I think that's only going to increase my veils. I wanted to see what that does if I think about my future. Better days coming. You are the captain of your ship, but never the captain of your fate. One day, though. One day. Okay, that's that only. That's a bit disappointing. Lost two terror. Hmm. Oh, and I can't. The going up to the crater was uh, something happening thing, so I can't. Let's dig among the ruins then. A uh, cellar full of bones. How many of them died down here? You could bury them in the, in the ash. 
but they're so choked and chambered you might as well leave them here below. The whole island is the unhoriest imaginable ground anyway, at least you have souvenirs. Three grinning scars and a carven crooked cross. So we gained 10 terror. <laughs> Uh, three lamentable rel relics, we lost some supplies, and we have one outlandish artifact. This belongs in a museum. Assume it's a colonial imperial appropriation for the purpose of hegemonic. Dexonomization <laughs> is a suitable response to the problem of intercultural contact, which, is probably, which it probably is, because museums are magnificent institutions. Okay. Uh, no, we don't want to dig again. I guess it's it f for us here at Mount Palmerston. Uh, at the very least, I cover some more of the map up here. Oh, the ship. It is... No, it's a big ship. <laughs> and it's spotted us, I think. I should try to get away. <laughs> Let's see if the sea bed can discover anything. No islands within the range, okay. It's not great. Um, okay, so at least at least the, the course here gave up. We're good <laughs> on that front. I think we're pretty yeah, we're pretty close to the north. That's ah, another ship. <laughs> to the northern border here. Duggan's Maw. Not sure what that is. There's probably something around here somewhere, right? No islands, okay. That's interesting. I would have thought there'd be something up here. Uh, but that, that seems to be the edge of the map. Up there. So unless we find something along that line here. Tenev is a long way to the east. Ah, a long way, it's not really that long way, usually. I think we can make it still in that episode and then I'll end it off once I reach the docks there. That's good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm playing with the manual safe off, so that's that. Ross found vast and chilly, a fortress siege by questions, answers and drills. That looks very cool. Very cool. There has to be a dock somewhere here, a harbor. It's got frost found. Yeah, there has to be. Right? A white seabird. A sailor has grown fretful and disobedient, reluctant to go on deck, even in port. There's a white seabird watching me up there. Swords, messenger. Swords got its eye on me. I'll never see home again. Okay. Feed the sea beds. Shoot the sea beds. Hmm. If the bloody thing. Why is that? It's frightening your bloody crew, you'll probably well settle its hash. You can feed it. If white sea beds are sacred to sword, perhaps you'll win sword's favor if you believe any of this. Sword. One of the neighbor's gods, the sailor's fear, the sailor is a conscientious conscientious oh, man. <laughs> Send him to a sick bay on the pretext of a fever. Sailor superstition order him to up on deck at once. Ah uh, well, you know we have had some interactions with sword before at the sword lines. Um and we dove down there, so I'll, I'll, I I don't know, I think that's something <laughs> it's not just superstition, so we'll feed the sea bed. The seabed takes fungal crackers from your fingers as boldly as a parrot. It dips its head to you and chirps something you might mistake for speech. It spreads its wings and leaps into the air. The next day, your crewman is gone along with one of the ship's boats. No one saw him depart, or knows why. Okay. So we lost the crew. One crew gained five fragments. We have source attention. And we know something of the three gods of the sea. There are powers. Good enough. 
I really, I really need to stop somewhere now, though. <laughs> uh, but so, yeah, as I, as I was saying before, I'm, um, I don't have the manner of safe turned on. That's the way this is supposed to be played, and I'm trying to keep it that way. Oh, there's a, there's a, wait, a place to stop. Uh, Stoddard's Haven. Sounds like a good place to end off the episode. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>